Hello, everyone, and welcome to the shopandshareapp.com. This is the business suite for Tracy Lynn. This is where you'll be able to learn how to create your own mobile app, customize your app, and send push notifications. So some of you may have already uh, built your mobile app, so this will be rep repetitive. But I'm going to move on to when you go to shopandshareapp.com slash Tracy Lynn, this is the screen that you'll see. And while you're filling out this screen, I want you to take t your time to make sure you're accurately typing it in all the information because this will reflect on how your uh, app functions. First off, you'll put in your, your name, Letitia Davis, for example. You'll put in your email, your phone number. The URL is your consultant website address. This is very important because this will be the home page of your mobile app. So when it says URL, that's what we're asking for is your uh, consultant website address. So here it's www.tracylynnjewelry.net. Remember, it's .net, not uh, .com. And then slash either your name that you put in or your uh, uh, consultant ID number. When you get to your consultant ID number, you'll put in your ID number. This is real important to have an accurate consultant ID number because it's going to affect your shopping cart uh, page and make sure that you get credit. You'll then create your password and confirm that password. could be the same password as Tracy Lynn Jewelry, or you could set up your own. Just remember what your uh, password was. Then you'll hit Create My App, which will then take you to uh, a page that says, Congratulations, your app is ready. What we're going to do is send you an email, and I want you to pick that email up from your phone. It's going to give you an app link uh, to download your app as well as login instructions on how to customize your app and send push notifications. Now, this email is going to come from info at shopandshareapp.com. If you don't see it, literally within a couple minutes, check your spam inbox, and you should be able to retrieve it. Again, info at shopandshareapp.com. This is the email that you'll get. Again, congratulations, your app is ready. But what's important is you'll see a link here to please click on this link from your mobile device, again, from your mobile device, and that'll take you to where you can download the app to put that app on your phone. Secondly, we'll talk about it a little bit later, but uh, to customize your app menu and send push notifications, you're going to go to shopandshareapp.com where you'll enter your email address and your password. And again, we'll touch on that later. But first, we want you to make sure that you download the app, get it working on your phone first. So that when you go to tap on the link, it'll take you to either the iTunes or the uh, uh, Google Play Store. It's going to ask you to install it or click on the little cloud in the first uh, slide. In the second slide, you'll see where it says open. You'll click to open it. When it's opening up onto your phone, it's going to ask you to allow push notifications and, outlook and allow uh, locations. What that does is we're going to send you push notifications uh, and basically, you as a consultant are going to send push notifications to your customers, and they're going to want to agree to this and allow this because they're going to get special deals and deals alerts that they want to take advantage of. Sometimes we send those out geographically. That's why we're asking for location. If they get uh, a, a symbol here at the bottom that says Ntor, uh, it shows you how to review your push log on the phone. They can click, simply click End uh, the Tour, and it'll open up right into your mobile app. So now that you've played with the mobile app, we're going to show you some features here soon about that. But I want you to go to shopandshareapp.com, shopandshareapp.com. You're simply going to go into the login page and log in. Uh, again, your email and your password. You can hit Remember Me if you're working off a, a laptop device. I'm going to exit out of there real quickly and open up the uh, – the login page, once you log in, and again, I'm going to go backwards really quick for that. Once you log in, you are going to uh, simply put in your email address, your password. You can hit Remember Me if you like and hit Login. It's going to take you to the dashboard. The first thing I want you to do after you have downloaded your app Let's edit your app and make sure that it's good. So I pushed on the edit button, and you can see the, the five buttons that you're now seeing on your uh, phone. And uh, 
and you can move those around any way you like, but you'll have a home button, a shop button, a call me, and a deals and a share. Let's make sure that that home page is indeed your, so you typed it in correctly, because when the app is opened, this is the page that's going to open up first. Also, let's check your shopping page. Uh, as Tishy, remember, was uh, consultant 723. You want to have your number right there to make sure that it opens up your page when your customer uh, goes to order. Call me. I can simply go in and edit that if I like and put in a different number if it isn't accurate. Uh, deals, this is a set button you don't have to touch, as is share. Those are all set. But what you might want to do is you could add maybe a web page where I'm going to link up to a web page. All I did was hit add features. I scroll down to web page. Maybe I click and I'm going to set up for a party. I can type party. And then what I'll do is go, this is just an example, but go to your website uh, on the, the page that you're promoting your party. Just click on the URL, or the website address of that party, hit copy, and then what you can do is come back over here, paste that in and add it, and then you'll add and it'll say party down here, and then you can obviously move things around. If I wanted to move home to the bottom, I could. I can want to move home to the shop, whatever you like to do. So once you have it in the order you want, you can make a few of those changes by adding some additional uh, menu buttons. And then once you're happy, you'll just go back to the list and say, now I've verified that everything is set up the way I want. I'm happy with that. I'm ready to start doing some business. So now there's some ways that you can share your app, maybe put it on your email, everyone you talk to, have them download your app and uh, promote your app so that as many people as possible can download your, your app. The next thing that you want to do is, after you have people that have downloaded your app, maybe at first just do it with a few people have downloaded your app. You can send them a push notification to test it out. Simply go here and put on push. And you'll type a title. Maybe I'll say uh, time to shine. I'm going to then uh, put in a message. Time to shine. 20% off. And then what I can do is go back to my, let's say if I was Letitia sending this message, I could go back, for example, to shop. And I'll click on shop. And maybe I want to go start shopping. And let's say I want to put on these handbags. And I love this black bag. Especially, I'm going to pick this bag. I will go all the way to the page where I want, just like I can go all the way to the time page. And you can see up here that it's going to have uh, the, uh, the shopping cart page for this. You can see this is Letitia's page, 723. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that page. And then I'm going to go back to my push notification. And I can put that in there and paste it. So now when I send out that push notification, when the customer clicks on it, it's going to open up right to that page. My page is a consultant for selling and getting credit for that black bag that's on sale or special. I'm going to hit just send push notification. That message will go out to anyone that has downloaded the app. There are also some analytics that you can click on. And those should be ready shortly. But you'll be able to see that uh, the analytics will tell you how many people have downloaded your app. Uh, probably by Febu uh, February uh, 18th, or just called mid-February, the analytics would be up and running, and that's what you click is the analytics. There's a share button, but again, the share is on your phone uh, where you can see those other, other features. I'm going to quickly go back to the PowerPoint presentation that you've seen when you've downloaded your app, and uh, we're going to go back up to the top and show you one of the slides and as you can see, as you're looking at your phone, you see the shop button on the bottom right. Again, this is what you can uh, uh, have your customers go to one tap to shop your catalog. They can also call you, so make sure your phone number is correct. Save on deals. This is that push notification that when I send out, it uh, all of a sudden uh, goes to their um, uh, customer's phone, and they'll see a message on their phone. Time to shine, 20% off. And then when they click on that, it'll open up to the time to shine page. 
back to share with friends. Again, I have a share button, and I want to teach my uh, uh, customer how to use this so that they can. it's easier for them to order, but also it's easier for them to share with their friends. So once they hit the, top, the share button, I can then, uh, it'll then open up this page, or then they can buy text if they wanted to share it by text. I thought of you when I saw this. Please download the app. Again, this is allowing your customer to type in a friend of theirs phone number, simply hit enter, and it shares your app with your customer. I hope this helps and gives you an idea of the back office and how you can customize your app and uh, how to send push notifications. Remember, go to shopandshareapp.com and put in your email address and your uh, password. Go ahead and edit your app. Customize your app, have fun with it, but the two main things is get your app promoted, get your customers to download the app, and start sending push notifications uh, to let them know about deals. Now, one last tip on push notifications. Make sure you're sending push notifications that are corporate approved or, or off your page, uh, your, your uh, shopping cart page. But again, maybe only send those every two weeks or maybe once a month, but every two weeks, with something that's meaningful. If you're over sending push notifications, it's just like spam. They may uh, take your app off their phone. But if you do it the right way and make it meaningful, make it timely, make it special for your customer, you're going to grow your business and increase sales and watch the recruits come too as people will respect and get excited the fact that you have a mobile app and if they join your team, they get the same thing. Well, thank you very much. And if you have any questions or problems, you can email Tracy Lind at appnotch.com, A-P-P-N-O-T-C-H.com, and we'll see if we can help you. Have a great day, and thank you so much.